Hello, what's going on, everyone? This is XXOO Reload here, and I am back again with a well, first squad build I've ever done on this channel. So let's see how it goes. This squad is about 650k on the pricey end, I'd say, but it's a real good squad. So we're going to start off with the goalkeeper, and we have no no one other than Ika Casillas, highest rated keeper on the game, apart from his team of the year version. And this guy is real, real good. Well, he's been performing real good for me. And yeah, this guy's got two star weak foot. Not amazing. I've seen him keep a better, but he's got that. He's got real good all round goalkeeping stats. Except left centre back, we have Sergio Ramos. This guy's got enough pace to make up for not having a left back. So he's got 79 pace, 84 defending, and 88 heading. They're those. They're the three stats that you need to look out for most in a defender. The pace, defending, and heading are the three main stats in a defender, in my opinion. Right centre back, we have the absolute beast, Chiellini. This guy's an absolute tank of a player. 80 pace, 86 heading, and 84. What does does say? 86 heading. I mean, 84 defending and 84, 84 heading. Paid 24 and a half k for this guy. This guy's an absolute gem to have on the team. He's a real good player for the price. And right slap bang in the middle, we have Gerard PK. I know, I know. I said um, pace and defending and heading one of the main things, but this guy does not feel like he's got a 62 pace. He feels like he's at least got 72. This guy's a real good defender. He'll just chuck himself in the way of the ball uh, if, it's, if they're going for a shot on target. And he's got three star skill, almost three star weak foot, which is quite good for a defender. This guy's a real, real good player as well. So we're gonna go to our right mid, and here we have Palacio. This guy's here mainly for chemistry reasons, and he's actually he's a decent player, but he's mainly here for chemistry reasons. So he, I paid 3,600 coins for him, 3 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, a pretty decent player. And here we have Pirlo. This guy I paid 6,400 coins for, 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves. This guy is an absolute beast, he'll be the guy taking your penalties, corners, close free kicks, he's got, he's got real good stats for stuff like that, and he's a really good player. And He's got 61 pace, you may be thinking, uh, is that really, does that make him a bad player? No, he's one of my favourite players on this in, on this game. That's how much I like him. So here we have Xavi. This guy is the guy that will be doing your through balls and to your striker. So he's got real, up, he's got a real nice rating as well. So he's got, I paid 59,500 for him. He's got... He's got 93 passing and 87 dribbling. He's, he's, he's actually a real good player. And here we have our first in form for the team. His name is David Silva. You can, if you can't afford this David Silva, I would say go with Gareth Bale. And he's a real nice player as well. Four star weak foot. I mean, four star skills. Two star weak foot. Not great. I paid 223k for him. He's got pretty nice all round stats. Okay, we're gonna start off with the left wing here, and we got Eden Hazard. This guy is here because he's pace and he's dribbling is real good. He shots okay. He's not the best in the world. He's got four star weak for four star skill moves, but if you're pretty much one on one with the keeper, he'll finish it. Here we have Di Maria. This guy's a pretty good player as well, but his weak foot is absolutely atrocious. Two star weak foot. It's not good at all. I'll say if you can, if you buy Di Maria, just, just don't even bother taking it with these weak foot. Just better off passing it to someone else. So our striker here, we got Tevez. I'll, if you can afford him, get Aguero, but I'll probably get Aguero in the future when I have enough money. This guy is a real nice like person to have here in the meantime if you don't want to spend that much on Aguero. And he's, he's quite a good player, he's got 83 pace, 85 shot, 84 dribbling, 77 passing, he's got, he's got pretty decent all round stats, the only bad thing I have to say about him is his work rates, they're high, high work rates. Not really good, what you want to see in a defender, I mean striker, it's high, low, and but that's a squad builder. It's 87 rated with my bench, and the bench isn't really too pricey, so I've just got real cheap high rate players in there. 
and uh, leave your comments or what you think of this team leave them in the description and I want to say is thank you for watching